I'm excited to, to have you kind of tell us about what's going on in your background there. What's uh, with your outer space background and, and what you figured out. Yeah. The Death Star. <laughs> uh, so we, we at, on February 1st, we started um, a new campaign. We have, a, we have a friend of ours who is a doctor in physical therapy. And she has done amazing, amazing, or has had amazing success over the past 18 months. Now, she took the traditional track. What she does is she specializes in women who've just had children, let's say within one month to five years, who are help, having muscle issues down in the pelvic floor area. Very, very private issues. And she's done really well. She's a great friend of ours. And she wanted to help Elia out. So she's like, hey, what if you – She's like, a lot of my moms who are my customers are really stressing out and I want to send them your way. What if it would be cool if you did a little Facebook group and kind of took them through your book and your course. We're like, okay, this is like, we have like 24 hours to prepare for this thing. So we say, okay, she lets it out there. Next thing you know, we've got 200 women who sign up to the Facebook group and give us their email and stuff. Say, hey, we'll give you a free copy of the book. You give us a review of the month and Elliot will get on and do Facebook live every day and take you through pieces of the modules and the chapters. And they're like, cool, this is awesome. So I would say the first 12 to 15 ones we did, we just kind of did the classic, here's my head, here's my whiteboard, you know, here, drawing some stuff down. The information was really good, we were getting some feedback, and then it just hit me uh, the other day, it's like, how, I, there's gotta be a way to do a green screen when I'm live streaming. Yeah. And there is, and that's what I'm doing now. You can see some of the, what I, what they, call artifacting kind of around my shoulders and yeah. my hair and stuff like that. And that's a big fancy word for saying problem. Yeah. And uh, when you're, what we've discovered is that doing green screening um, from a laptop computer, which that's what we're using right now. I'm using a MacBook Pro 15 inch from 2015 with the built-in microphone and the built-in camera. And then a little piece of software called Cam Twist. And I've got a green screen behind me right now. So if I were to turn off the old Death Star here, you can see our studio, which um, that's not really our studio. But, <laughs> oh, that's not our studio. That's, <laughs> that's the window view, right? That's just out your, your that's office the window. window. View. Yeah, it's my office. <laughs> yeah, this, is where, this is where they film the Hunger Games. And uh, the camping trip we actually took last October. Nice. Uh, what, but what our office really looks like is this. So I'm actually a picture in picture with a video playing in the background, or I can have an image overlay on top of it if I want to. Now, if you look at my green screen, um, you'll notice a lot of wrinkles. It is really, really tough to buy a cheap piece of fabric off of Amazon or eBay and wrinkle it and iron it out and hang it up to where you get all the wrinkles out. I would say this has probably been our biggest challenge yeah. as well as light, as well as lighting, getting equal lighting across. Yeah. What ends up happening what I'm do is I'm going to turn my chroma key back on here and you can see how it takes it out. Now I have the ability to adjust how much green is coming in and out either by what they call the threshold level or actually by the color. Now if I do too much of it, it starts, it'll get a lot of it up and you see my shoulders start to go away. Yeah. When I turn like that, I start to disappear and vanish. The problem, now this is, a, this is also part of a MacBook problem and this yeah. is going to be a lot of problem. Um, any type of, you know, just kind of like cheaper or built in webcam because they have these auto white balancing features on them. Yeah. And so the minute you move, your green screen background changes and I'm just getting closer to the screen and you can see how things are changing, how parts of me will appear and then disappear. And it gets kind of, it gets kind of weird. So doing a green screen on, on live streams, you're really limited with what you can do. You've got to have a really tight piece of fabric. You've got to have really, really good lighting. And you've also got to have, um, you got to be still. You got to be really, really still. You're not going to have a whole lot of motion. Yeah. Now, if I were to take myself and just put it to the center and I could just, you know, go kind of full screen with it or get bigger, then, you know, things happen. I can also take myself down, 
we've also learned that when you're on like a black background like the Death Star, you can really see all the imperfections. So the more motion and stuff you have in the background, or the more busy the background is, the better off you're going to be with trying to get rid of green stuff. Yeah. Now, one cool, one cool thing that we also learned in this piece of software, and I'll, I'll screen share here in a second, is that I can crop. So if you watch the right-hand side, I'm going to – see I'm moving that back and forth? Yeah. I can – remove some of the inefficient lighting or some of the inefficient green and kind of tone it down, which can or can't, you know, can be kind of fun. So the reason we were doing the green screen was, you know, because of the great course of venture. It's like we wanted to start theming our adventure of taking these women through Elia's, you know, move things smile book. Um, and the first couple of ones we did came out awesome. And then I started figuring out that, because of the limitations with the green screen. And we're on, just so you guys know, this is our 10 foot by 10 foot secondary bedroom. It is not a big space at all. We do not have a professional studio. Yeah. And we've got a window over there. We've got some more lights up top above me. Just a, there's the ceiling fan. And, you know, this can really be done really, really well. Like I said, it's really more about the, fabric in the background and you got to have a good piece of software. Yeah. For Macintosh, they make something called cam twist. It's free and it works really, really well. It is kind of complex. I don't know if you guys are Mac people or not. Um, there's another piece of software out there called mini cam. M a N Y C a M.com mini cam.com. I'll put that into the, and it's available for both Mac and windows. And the cool thing about Minicam that I really, really like is that you can have multiple cameras. So what mm -hmm. you can do is you can have a YouTube video playing in one window. You can have your webcam in one window. You can have another window with, I don't know, your SLR pointing outside if you wanted to. And you can switch in between them. The, only, cool. issue with, the only issue with Minicam is that it's 64 bucks if you want to be able to do green screen. Yeah. So they have a free version. And the free version is pretty cool. But what I really like that I've learned is that we can take a pre-recorded video. So if anybody has done any work with, let's say, Adobe Premiere or even iMovie or anything like that, let's say you have a less than perfect green screen like I've got, those software programs actually do a better job at removing the green screen than your webcam and your little webcam software will ever do. So what you can do, and I did this on Friday, so Elia left for Nashville on Thursday morning, and we pre-recorded two of her lives. On Thursday, I just uploaded it as a video, and nobody watched it. Zero. So I'm like, okay, I gotta solve this problem. <laughs> I have a really cool video of Elia, but I do not have her live. How can I make this go live? And I started looking at, I started looking at cam twist and then I started looking at mini cams and I figured out that this video in the background, I can play it without me being there and I can play the sound and I can play the sound from it too. <laughs> if I really want. Very what that cool. means, yeah, it's very cool. So what that means is you can actually do your green screen work, and as long as you treat it like a live video, you can actually make an epic video. You can get your speech down right. You can take out your mistakes. You can turn around. You can do things. You're going to get way better processing. You're not going to have to worry about moving around and getting like your shoulder disappear. It's like, oh, my gosh, I'm off camera now. What happened to me? You're not going to get any of that. And then you can – do all of your videos in a day or two. Let's say you wanted to do 15 videos and spread them out over a month. You can do all your videos in a day or two, pre-record them, and all you have to do is play the video, then go live with that video. Now the pro of that is all your stuff's done. The video's gonna look great. It's gonna be epic. You're gonna have great sound. You're gonna have just really good engagement, which I did that on Friday. So when I uploaded the video and Ellie was here, but it actually said she was going live, she got a lot more engagement. We had a lot more people watching it. 
And actually, it's probably one of the most watched lives we've done because it had a really good sound in the background. It had a clock yeah. ticking. Yeah. Like you suggest, put some music in there. Yeah. Um, the music was really, really awesome. The problem is she's not live. So if somebody asks a question and you want to respond to it, you can respond to it in chat, but you cannot respond to it while you're speaking. Yeah. So that, that, that's a little bit of an issue. But for the group that we're doing, we're not getting a whole lot of engagement, like questions being asked on the spot. Yeah. So re-recording the videos works really, really well for us. Yeah. Another thing that I learned is that when you want to do sound effects, um, and this is really has to do with Macintosh, the Macs have a built-in ambient noise reduction. And even if you turn it off and you try to put up a video, a live stream with some sound effects in the background, they get all warbly and kind of chopped out and they just don't work very well. Yeah. So what we do, so what I did is I went on Amazon and I found a, let me see if I can find out where my mic is here. I got for $20, this little lavalier mic from a company called Purple Panda. Now you guys are gonna have to tell me if you think it sounds better because right now I'm just on my computer mic. And now if I plug this in, the sound should be a lot better. Can you guys hear? Yeah, it sounds like you're a lot closer now. I have to unplug you in order to hear you. Yeah, yeah, the, the sound is definitely, it sounds like you're a lot closer up now when you put that in. Yeah. Yeah, so it cancels out all the, just the natural reverb in the room. So when you have just a good microphone, it's amazing on how that yeah. really works well. Yeah. Now, have you tested your, your live uh, things, like the pre-recorded live things, and then boost it so that you get more people showing up to it? Or can you only boost after, um, after the presentation's done? You, okay, you can... You can let people know that it's coming. So you can kind of like say, sign up for my event or come to my group. But once you do the live, you can actually boost that post. Gotcha. Yeah. And I fact, so Molly, who we watched last week. Yeah. Was it last week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple so weeks we've been, ago. Yeah, she's great. A couple weeks ago, yeah. Yeah, so we've been grooving with her. Um, and I've been watching a lot of her stuff and kind of looking at the whole webcam bots and kind of what she's doing. So there's some really cool things that you can do with Facebook. Um, I don't want Facebook to be my, I'm kind of like you, like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a Facebook person. Yeah. Um, the only reason I have a, pro, this is horrible. The only reason I have a profile on Facebook is for people to think I look cool. <laughs> That's, that is the only reason I have a profile on Facebook. Yeah. You will only see me post things that make us look really cool or make <laughs> other people feel good. <laughs> that is so funny and it's true i mean like probably 98 percent of the people on facebook that would be the reason i mean the cover-up is well it helps me stay more connected with my family but really i just want everybody to think i'm cool <laughs> yeah you're the first person i ever heard admit it though so thanks for that <laughs> oh yeah totally no 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 i i, I totally use it so people well or we're trying we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to and that goes along with, you know, one of the, the biggest questions we were always asked when we came out of our, our burnout, and there's a whole story behind that, is how do you guys do it? Yeah. How are you guys so bad at it? And I'm like, I don't know. I guess we just said no to the man and we started going outside some more. And that, yeah. that's kind of how it happened. Yeah. <laughs> and so anything I post on the page now is going to make us look badass. So yeah. that's, that's why it's there. Yeah. Um, I just want to, to add a note, like for the, for the background there, and this is just kind of jumping around um, before I yeah. forget, for your, your background, you can get like a, a camera like this, set it up and hook it straight into your laptop. So instead of streaming through your, your laptop camera, you can stream through like a professional quality camera, which will give you, you know, like 1080 HD. Yes. Um, so we have one. We okay. have one and I have and I have hooked it up here and I can stream from that. The, I was having an issue with sound and that I looked like a Kung Fu movie. Oh yeah. There was, uh, yeah, so there so, was a, a disconnect between the mic and the, the camera. Yeah. I couldn't figure it for some reason, uh, at least on this computer, I couldn't get sound from the camera 
yeah. come in with the video, I had to have a separate mic. So I was using that lavalier mic, yeah. and it wasn't syncing up together. And I'm not really sure why it was doing that. Interesting. Um, but I haven't gotten deeper into to doing that. And I also wanted to make sure that, you know, the whole purpose of this was for us to be mobile. Yeah. We, you know, we, we've got a, we've got a giant diesel truck that runs off of vegetable oil and we want to get out of here and go on the road and do a lot of our filming, especially for the course that we're making in the national parks of North America. Nice. And that was kind of, this is kind of the pre to that. Yeah. And I want to be able to say, if we're going to be able to do a live stream, I want to be, I want to make it work on, on the laptop without yeah. all the fancy equipment if I can make it. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Well, it's just a matter of tweaking. I mean, right now it looks pretty solid, you know, like if I really look, I can, I can see the little fragments in that, but, uh, um, yeah, over here. Yep, right here. yeah, yeah. Got to stay in the frame, but, um, yeah, it's just a matter of tweaking it. Just like playing around, trying different pieces of equipment um, the lighting is going to make a huge, huge difference. If you can get your, your backdrop perfectly lit. Um, another thing is, uh, they make green screen fabric. That's like, uh, um, like spandex. And so you can, it comes with like metal frames and you can stretch it out and then clamp it. So it's like perfectly flat. Uh, that's what we're going to be getting for our next studio space. And uh, yeah, so if you look for like stretchy green screen material, because yeah, same thing for like for us here, there's wrinkles on it. Um, lighting is still an issue. Like we've got the ceiling lights, plus we've got three other lights and lighting is still always an issue, especially when we want to get two people on screen at once. It's just, it's so hard to do. Um, for our next studio, we're going to have a lot more space. Like we're uh, in May, we're moving into a new place and uh, um, we're having a, like a professional audio video recording studio built in it. So we'll have like a full pro studio to be able to do lots of cool stuff, which is exciting. And we'll have high speed internet so that we'll be able to stream green screen stuff like you. <laughs> Um, that is key. That is key. Yeah, we just yeah. for Christmas Santa Claus brought us a new modem. We just boosted up to one gigabit. Oh, that's internet, great! So it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's key. I mean, I'm I'm amazed that we've been able to make it this long without having high speed internet. We're just on satellite right now, and it's brutal. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know if you were interested, but if you were, I was. I pulled up that 15 second promo video that I created this weekend that's been getting us massive traffic. Oh yeah, can you stream it? Yeah, I think so. So I'm gonna turn off that. Yeah, there it is, cool. I'm gonna turn <laughs> off me. Okay. There it is, there it is. Let's see if I can start <laughs> this here. There we go. Wow. Where did you get that video clip? You like that? That's, that's cool, huh? That's so good. Um, so I discovered a really cool, let me pull up the website here real quick so I give it to you guys. It's called uh, um, slide, yeah, Slidely.com. Slidely? Um, so it's slide.ly. Yeah. Is the name of the company. And uh, they have a division called Promo. So slide.ly slash promo. And then I went in there and I think I saw, actually, I think I saw a Facebook ad because I've been using the past week for cool, ad, cool ideas. And I saw their ad, they're like, hey, make a really cool video in like 15 seconds. And I'm like, all right. I went in there and looked at it and their free account. And what they're doing is they're pulling in videos and clip art from Getty Images. Getty Images is probably, to my knowledge, the world's largest congregator of really good footage. Now that clip right there, if I wanted to use it from Getty Images, would have cost me $6,000. <laughs> right? <laughs> but through slide.ly, 
for 99 bucks, I was able to make four videos and wow. choose four different things. And the cool thing is they don't really have a, um, a stipulation on how you use the video. So wow. what I did is I signed up and then I downloaded the video with nothing on it. And then I created, so now I have the legal rights to use it however I want. Yeah. And it was for 25 bucks instead of $6,000. Wow. Why, um, how does that work? Any idea? Like as far as like, wow, that's incredible. So I mean, are I mean, all of their videos I mean, that short? Okay. So most of the videos are going to be between 30 and 60 seconds long. Yeah. So they're really, they're really meant for promo. Yeah. And you can actually adjust it. Like that actual video, I think is 32 seconds, but I wanted the 15 second spot. Yeah. And, um, and their video editor is amazing. It's so easy to use. It's really, really killer. Um, their $49 a month plan lets you get one video. It's okay. I think for a hundred bucks a month, sign up, get four videos, you know, cancel it till you need four more. Yeah. You know, that'll, that'll last, that'll last you for six months. Four videos will last you six months without a problem. Yeah. But it's worth the, the, the friggin' footage is really great. The yeah. library is huge. The wow. only problem is it's, it's really tough to go through and say, if, if I type in stressed out, it's like, I got that video and then I got a bunch of other stuff too that kind of works, kind of looks like clip art. Yeah. Yeah. So, wow. Definitely, definitely. Anyway, so anyways, I made that video. I made five different versions. It's all the same dude smashing his laptop on fire. Um, and it just says, it'll say like one says, be your own boss. They said financial freedom. They said, yeah. And I'm targeting that towards entrepreneurs. Yeah. And I've got another one that I'm targeting towards people who have either vice president or executive positions. And it says, um, climb the ladder. They said, um, build your resume. They said, and then those guys love that one. <laughs> so good. Great marketing, man. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. This is going to do very well. Wicked. Well, Thanks, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, uh, Mars and Judy and everybody else from the future. Uh, this has been great. I learned lots. Appreciate it, Adam. All right. See you soon. Right. Take care, everybody. See you at the campfire.